Hello and welcome to Mammal Monday. This is our first episode ever. We'll be talking about different orders within the mammalian class and today we're talking about proboscidea, which is elephants. Let's talk about the taxonomy. So there's one family and within that there's two genera. So there's Loxodonta and Elephas. Um, Loxodonta is the African elephants and Elephas is the Asian elephants. Um, you can see some of the lineage and taxonomy. There were woolly mammoths and there were a bunch of really small ones early on. Um, I'll talk about it later, but they were thought to be about the size of large pigs, which is crazy compared to now that they are the largest living land mammals. So let's talk about morphology. This is a funny picture. Um, they have a prehensile proboscis, which is their trunk. It's just a special name for it. And it contains about 100,000 muscles and tendons, which if you can imagine, that makes things extremely controlled. They have a lot of strength and they also have a lot of versatility and flexibility. Um, they the scent particles that go through their nose, through the trunk, are carried to a gland called the Jacobson's organ, which is located in the roof of their mouth. And it is so sensitive. I'll talk about it in the fun fact section, but they can sense the water from like 12 miles away and they can sense other elephants, like what their reproductive status is from super far away, just because of how sensitive this gland is. Um, over the evolution of time, the second upper incisors involved, evolved into tusks, um, which you think of with the ivory that's made, makes like pianos, um, and just the ivory of elephants is very highly regarded. They also have a very large cranium size, um, and I'll also talk about this later, but they have, ext they have, I think, 12 pound brains, which is massive, um, and they are very smart, like incredibly smart, and the large cranium size lends to this. They also have something called mesial drift, which unlike us, we have obviously our like baby teeth fall out and the adult ones grow in from the top, so it's vertical, but elephants experience the replacement of their cheek teeth as a horizontal process, so it's not vertical. And their teeth are also, it's called lophodont, and so it's made for very abrasive vegetation, which is what they eat. So the top picture here is African elephants and the bottom is Asian, just to keep the context. African elephants are the largest existing land mammals right now. They are between 10 and 13 feet tall. They weigh between like 7,000 7, to 26,000 pounds, which is insane. Um, the males and females both have tusks. They have super sparse body hair, arched backs, rounded ears. They also, penne is their like our penne is here and their penne is obviously those big flaps. They have a very large penne. They have four front toes, three back toes. And then the their trunks have projections on the top and the bottom of the proboscis. So the Asian elephants, which you can't really see it very well in that picture, but theirs only have it only have one projection, which is like a finger like little thing. Again, it adds to the control and versatility that they have for their trunks. Um, Asian elephants are about 11,000 pounds and 11 feet tall, so they're definitely smaller than African elephants. They also have a slighter build. They have smaller ear flaps, though those penne are smaller. They have a flatter head and also a flatter back, um, and they're more deep pigmented, which is really interesting, and they have hairy bodies, and the females do not have tusks for them, and their toes, both front and back, have five digits. So distribution, um, the map gives a good visual of it, but African bush elephants, so there's African bush, like I talked about earlier, and there's also African forest, and then there's Asian. So African bush live in the marshes, grasslands, and lake shores of the sub-Saharan, and then the African forests are in the forests of the West and Central Africa area, and then Asian elephants are all throughout the forests of, like, Asia. Here, there's the elephant going across the screen. Okay, so the fun part, I'm going to talk about fun facts. I have about four slides of these. I fi figure this is the best part of the presentation. So elephants require massive amounts of food. They eat about like 800 pounds per elephant per day, which is insane. They also live between 60, 70 years, which is, I mean, they're huge. So it's not like they're mouse size, but that is a really long time for a mammal. They have a really, really good sense of smell because of their trunk, but not a good sense of vision or audition. 
Um, they're also believed to, it was believed that, like I said earlier, the earliest members of this order were not bigger than large pigs, which is crazy considering how big they are now. Um, so they did a few tests and studies with elephants and in the self-recognition mirror test, elephants demonstrated that they were aware of their own image, which brings in a really interesting topic of self, self image, um, which chimpanzees and different primates have also been studied for that, but they, they didn't confuse it with being another elephant. Like they knew that that reflection was theirs, which is insane. It also is reflected by their social behavior. It suggests that they have altruistic feelings and complex emotions, um, they grieve for dead loved ones. There's been sightings of matriarchs being buried with leaves and dirt, and they stayed around her body for two days and made super low noise, noises, like mourning her death, which is crazy because other mammals don't do that. More fun facts. So, did I miss one? So, permanent tusks grow continually at about 17 centimeters a year, which 17 centimeters in, isn't insane by any means, in any means, but if you think about the fact that they're living for 60 to 70 years, that is a long tusk by the end of their time. Also, like humans, they can be left or right-handed, which is really funny. So they have a preference to use use their tusk one over the other because they use them to dig up things and to get around. Um, another fun fact, their wrinkles, because their skin is so wrinkly, as you can see in the picture, it acts as a cooling mechanism because it increases the skin's surface area, which is really cool. Um, it also traps water and moisture so that it doesn't evaporate as quickly so the skin is a really excellent mechanism for staying cool because they're in such they're in such like arid and dry hot areas um, they have an excellent long-term memory which i talked about the cranium being bigger but their brain size and frontal lobe is super developed so it's cool they have done studies on how long-term the memory is elephants thank you for attending Mammal Monday and stay in tune for the next one.